everyone, I hope you are all doing well, and in this video, I will be talking about Episode 1 of Star Trek Picard Season 3, and give you my thoughts about it. So I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative. Now, for those who are unaware, providing context courtesy of Wikipedia, quote, In the 25th century, Dr. Beverly Crusher and her son Jack are attacked aboard the SS Elios. Beverly is injured and sends an emergency message to her former Starfleet captain, the retired Admiral Jean-Luc Picard. Picard and his love, Laris, are planning a trip to Chaltok 4 when he receives the message and she encourages him to go. Beverly told Picard not to involve Starfleet, so he goes to his former first officer, Captain William Riker. Riker and Picard stage a surprise inspection of the successor to Riker's former ship, the USS Titan A, planning to convince its new captain, Liam Shaw, to go to Beverly's location without revealing their intentions. Shaw declines, but his first officer is Picard's friend, Seven of Nine, who ignores Shaw's orders and changes the Titan's course. On Emtalus Prime, Starfleet Intelligence Officer Rafi Musiker searches for a stolen quantum tunneling device that her mysterious handler fears will be used in a terrorist attack. She fails to find it before it is used to destroy a Starfleet facility. Picard and Riker board the Elios, finding Beverly and Jack as a large ship appears. Unquote. Now on to my personal views highlighting what was good about this episode, as well as what was bad. Now, the few good things I liked about this episode, mainly the interactions between Picard and Riker, especially as they plan to use the USS Titan as a means of travel to find and aid Dr. Beverly Crusher, as well as the premise of an unknown enemy that is hunting Dr. Crusher and one of her sons, Jack. I wonder where Wesley is. Though from what I have seen of Star Trek Picard, the bits and pieces of seasons one and two, it is no wonder that I am calling this the only season of Star Trek Picard. Now for what was bad. Now folks, you know when it's not really Star Trek, when it has lens flare. That was the first thing I noticed about this show, right at the start. And I'm thinking, has much really changed? Although I did not like the Raffi character, also known as the Star Trek crackhead, so I did not really care about her subplot. I did find it a bit odd that Dr. Crusher had a shotgun phaser. As far as I'm aware, I haven't seen that before in Star Trek. The captain of the USS Titan seemed very undisciplined. I guess the Starfleet will let anybody take that chair. Along with Seven of Nine and her use of swearing. Now, I know that's happened in prior seasons, yet it seemed out of place for a Starfleet officer, as well as how dark everything is, especially inside. You know something is wrong, folks, when space is brighter than the inside of a starship. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, I have found the first episode of Star Trek Picard to be a rather okay to meh episode. A five out of ten. Not too bad, but not too good either, which concerns me, especially when I am of the view that the first episode or two of any Star Trek series or season is supposed to start with a bang, and with only nine more episodes to go, this season can't afford any episodes to be god-awful. Though if this season was as long as a season of The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, or Voyager, about 25 to 26 episodes, you could get away with a bad episode or two, like TNG's Code of Honor, DS9's Move Along Home, or Voyager's Threshold, to name but a few. I'll keep on watching, folks, though if it is more of this, then I don't think either CBS 
or Paramount will ever make Star Trek great again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my review of Star Trek Picard Season 3, Episode 1. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Suggestions for videos are always welcome in the comments section down below. And so I shall end this video by wishing you all a great day. So until next time, bye for now!